We haven't done that in a really long time. We got some crab and some alfredo. And, and then we got some alfredo. Mm. This looks good. So this is Bali's first time having like a seafood boil. Let's just put it on this plate and let her go at it. She don't like it. But um, we asked you guys some questions. Let me see, is this hot? Mm -hmm. Let me get some right now. We asked you guys some questions, and mm, we're doing like a girls' talk. Uh, asked you guys a few questions that you guys may want to know. And I'm gonna put a crab leg on the plate just see what she's gonna do with it. I'm curious. Dang, Brett, I didn't get no rice. What's wrong with me? Okay. First question. How do you guys feel about having people? I was gonna crack this one. Oh no, I want to just see if she, oh, if she kind of does with it. How do you guys feel about having people um, at your house or family dinner? Um, just people in general. Ooh, stand up, Ollie. I guess. On Sunday dinners, it's actually really fun. It's more like family though. We don't just have like random. I do want to do inviting a fan over for Sunday dinner. I've always wanted to do that. So that's something that I'm gonna start doing is including um, some of our supporters into like a Sunday dinner. Cause a lot of people actually like it. Wanna stand up? Yeah. Wanna stand up? Yeah. You gotta share girl. I know, but I think it's covering her face. Dang. Here, just take a whole cluster. Take this. Take this. Oh, I don't want that healthy. I'll take this one. <clears throat> With my house, I don't really like want people at my crib like that. Because you just never know like. I take it. Never know what. You just never really want people to know you live. Yeah, that's true. But you know, if you think about it, I've always had that house to where people have always, yeah, it's literally came over. People always came to. That's just how nice you are, though. Here, try Bali. But yeah, I do. I like fun fellowship, like Sunday dinners. Um, and and what's crazy is I really don't really like to cook. Well, just recently I started liking to cook over the past like year or so. But really, it's not been my thing. Like, mom, I need the sauce. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay. What's the next question? Next question. see ourselves in the next couple of years mm. that's a good question okay, sometimes, sometimes, first. sometimes we for, forget to think about the future but um well being a mom of a one-year-old now changes things for me so um, oh. definitely still doing film producing and um creating like uh production like music videos and stuff like that um i don't know where we're gonna be at 
as far as social media platforms. Um, but definitely like owning brands and stuff like that. Whether working with Bali's brand, um, Brooklyn's brand, and supporting Brooklyn with her music and stuff like that. Hmm. You know, you never know. She's probably gonna be on tour and stuff by then, so probably traveling the world and with her. Stuff like that. How about you? Well, I see myself in the next couple years, like being known as a, being known as an artist. Mm, Took it seriously as an artist, you know. Um, put my my voice be out there more. You know, I just had a meeting about that just now. But yeah, taking my music career more seriously. Right now, I'm taking it serious, but I'm I'm still looking for the right team, you know. Right. And I don't want to like down the road like find out my team is like stealing money from me. Yeah. You know, so I'm thinking about that now. Right. Just try, try one big bite. Mm, look, Bali. Bali don't like the fishy smell. Mmm. 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 Sometimes you just have to put it in her mouth because she's super picky about stuff too. You like it? See? She likes it. Can I get some more pasta? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, next question. This is good, huh? Okay, next question. Okay. Sorry. I'm a little hungry. Mmm. Good job, Zoe. How was your relationship? My relationship? Mm-hmm. Me and you? Mm-hmm. Um, our relationship is pretty good for the most part. I could say it's better now. Mm -hmm. Turn around, Bali. Um, yeah, we've had our ups and downs, definitely. Um, definitely had our ups and downs. It's just learning how to maneuver through. Don't drop that. Yeah. You know, she knows me. Like, sometimes I don't want to be bothered. Sometimes I just... She don't like it, but she just took all the sauce, not the... Here. The sausage. Wait. Yeah. Bite it. Mmm. Here. It looks like heck of sauce. Um, yeah, I agree. You know, it just... Because I'm also getting older and growing into... You know. Going into the person I'm supposed to be coming. I was young. Didn't really think family was that important. You know, just like for I used to think I used to be like, bro, I, I just I wish my mom and my dad didn't care about me just so I could do whatever I wanted to do. I used to think really? that. I used to think like that. <laughs> but what is it that you want to do that we weren't letting you do? Or nobody was letting you do a lot, especially my dad. My dad was very strict growing up. And he never just, like, I didn't so care about you, but like. I, I was young though. I felt like that when I was young. Really? But yeah. Like not care about me, but like care about the things I did. You know? Oh. Cause y'all will always say it's just that we care about you. Right. No, I know what you mean. I always wanted like an old mom. So, cause like I had a young mom growing up, and she really didn't let me do a lot of stuff. Or she like called and checked on, called my friends, making sure I was where I was supposed to be. All that stuff. Or my other friend, her mom was old. She didn't care what she did. She just gave her money to go have fun and then tell her to come home before it gets too late. That's it. She didn't check on her or nothing. Yeah, I wanted an old mom. Well, Bali, you got one of those. But I'm going to be checking on you all the time. But Next question? Yeah.
potato. Mm. Oh, you gotta try it. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Just try. It's good. Trust me. Trust if me. You, mm. If you in your lowest place, what can you push away if you if you on a depression? Can you move on? Yes. Um, if you're in your lowest place. I feel like depression, everything is temporary. Yeah, I was about to say that too. Everything is temporary. You gotta seek God. Seek God in your darkest place because he's the light. And sometimes, if you feel like you can't hear God's voice or anything, be around, or be around people that are that you feel are moving in a positive direction, sometimes that can help you. Just think differently because sometimes what we do when we're depressed, we isolate ourselves and we don't want to be around anybody. We want to just stay home, stay in the bed and stuff like that. And it gets worse. But sometimes if you just move move around, even working out. Yeah, because we be in our thoughts a lot. Mm -hmm. Get your body moving and stuff like that. Hey, that helps. She's over this crap. Stop. Stop. Stop hitting Bali and Brooklyn. Okay. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Okay. okay, next question. Next question. Um Are you back with Justin? No. I'm not. Um what are some advice you can give us give to build a better relationship with a parent and child? We just kind of explain that. Hey, parent and child, though, realistically, Stop. Um, as a parent, I will say this. On my end, Bobby. I'll say that. Bobby. Learn how to listen to your kid and... No. Pretty much learn their personality and be somebody they can talk to. Because end of the day, like that's all you have in order to keep your kids safe is the fact is of communication. Because if you can tell me stuff, some stuff I might not like, but at least I know how to protect her from things. Whereas if she never told me anything, I don't know what she's into, I don't know who she's hanging around, I don't know any of that then it's harder to keep her safe from certain things. Like, I can't keep her safe from everything, but I can help guide her and help her navigate in a in a way that I think will be producive to her, like, conducive. Huh? Am I saying the right word? Huh? Go ahead. You can answer that. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. Um... On a child's perspective, I think just like obey. Um, with when it comes to your parents, you don't have to like. My mom taught me. My mom taught me to say what I feel, but it's like when it comes to your parents, sometimes you can't always do that because it's like, yeah, you might feel like your parent doing this and that, but you never express that to them, you know? Because it's like, well, I'm I've always been brought up that I can't say how I feel. So I always told myself that my kids are gonna, I'm, I want them to be able to express themselves. Sometimes it's not always the best way, but I've always wanted them to be able to express themselves because like sometimes if it doesn't start at home and you, they can't express themselves and they're afraid or they feel like they can't express themselves in the world. So because my mom wouldn't let me like talk back, she wouldn't let me. and. <laughs> She's bad. And not t talking back, like just expressing why I do or don't want to do something or asking even why I was in, I couldn't say these things. I couldn't say these things in, in person, like in the real world, I'd be scared to ask why. Did you give us some water? Yeah. Sorry. Okay guys, this is Bali's favorite thing in the world so far, besides her binky, which we're trying to work on getting her off of that. Do you want this? Yeah, trying, girl. Yes, we are. Do you want this or this? This?
Say please. <laughs> okay, give me yeah. that. Here. Want some more crab? Mom, yeah, I want some. Oranges? Yeah, actually, those are so good when you're thirsty. You know, the night. Okay, so what's the next question? Do you see yourself have more kids? Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would adopt because sometimes I feel like I want Bali to have somebody her age to grow up with. I'm feeling bad for her sometimes. She used to be playing with Zoe and stuff. What about you? I want kids when I'm 25 or 24. 25? Yeah. That's a pretty good age, actually. And then I want, like, I want two or four kids, so I'm going to left out. You don't want three? Mm -hmm. Then one will feel left out. Middle kid? Memo was a middle kid. He didn't feel like that. We never know that. Memo never shows. Never. I'm not asking. He don't show his emotions. What are you like? Are you okay mentally? Everything good with you? You're like what? what are you talking about? Bali, drink the drink the juice. Next question. What are some tips for like beginner YouTubers? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I can, oh, go ahead. No, sure. I can say just stay consistent and really like if you were this is really something you want to do, just post every day. You know, um, drop the content that you love first. Yeah. See if they like it. If not, you know, try something new. Study it a lot. And by studying, I mean like watching other people's YouTube videos, seeing what goes up. But you know, some like like stuff like that. Definitely. Just see what fits your channel. You know, and still still be you and your I personality. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a that's really good advice because so many people be like, I want to start a YouTube. How do I start? And I'm just like. They probably don't know how to really start and get monetized and stuff. I mean, what we did, we, we literally watch other YouTubers and kind of like, we know that, you know, like, do an intro, then do a video, and then do an outro, you know, like, get like ideas when we first started doing YouTube. Because I think your guys' first video was a, a hot wing prank. I mean, not a prank, but hottest, hot, yeah. hottest wing challenge, you know. Just stuff like that. You literally got to watch YouTube in order to get ideas you don't have to but i mean just to understand the how it works and stuff like that one more, more question yeah one more question what more oh you want what's something y'all feel like y'all can be better at in 2023 something we can be better at in 2023 obeying god yeah be closer to god um, communication. Hey, I kind of feel like I mastered all the things like when me and Justin broke up. Not mastered because I'm still working on them, but like I'm mastering yeah. communication. Um, you know, think before I react and things like that. Not getting so mad so fast. So I could say really, but my main focus right now is just God, loving Him. Having him all my faith into him, you know, fearing him. <laughs> so what I could do better in 2023 is obeying God. Hey, you've been mad this whole YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? I don't know what to do. Yeah. Come on. Hey, 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 you see her doing it. Come on now. You don't gotta cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, mama. Don't cry. I used to love those. 
something like that? You want me to help you open it? Where's Sissy? Where's Sissy at? You want to share this with Sissy? Because she likes these too. Do I have some, Bali? Can Sissy have some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People make art with the... I know, I used to say that too. Yeah, I know. I'm open my teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to give some to Sissy? Bali, can I have some? Uh... So what is your, I'll ask you this, what's your, um, what is your goals for 2023? Man, um, like I said, first things first, obeying God and just really having that strong connection with him. Second thing, clearing the people out of my circle that, is, that God did not call to be in my circle and bringing in genuine people, stuff like that. Number three, being consistent in whatever I do. That's music, YouTube, brand, clothes, all that. Whatever I do, just being consistent, putting my all into everything I do. And fourth, just loving myself, being more in tune with myself. Um, I'm starting my hair growth journey, so. so hopefully that goes good. What about you? Um, just spending the most of my 24 hours that I have out of the day. Um, realizing when I need a break, or set, actually setting myself on a schedule more, like creating more of a schedule, uh, to do, uh, like a to-do list, like tasks. There's this um, app that I saw for iPad, and you literally can write your stuff on there and cross everything out once you do it. I'm gonna show you, there's these YouTubers that do that, and it just like makes me want to use that like she literally documents everything she does like throughout the whole day um plan my videos and just creating better content um creating mm -hmm. more um like like taking more time with editing my videos um and stuff like that like make sure my hair is done makeup's done i want to like be into that type of stuff a little bit more um, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to do my makeup a lot. So if y'all start seeing me maybe wear makeup a lot, because I, I want to get into that. Yeah, because sometimes like it's it's easy to just get up and take that break and just scroll on my. You know how much I be on my phone. Yeah, we gonna start fasting from the phone. Yeah, the world, all that. Yeah, because sometimes like depending on what I look at on Instagram and stuff or, or on YouTube. Like, if it's depressing stuff, it'll affect my mood for the whole day. That's why I don't listen to worldly music anymore because I don't watch what you listen to because you're singing all that, like, I caught a case, I catch a case, I, oh, I'm sad. You, you know, you just bring that energy to you. Yeah. It's like, makes you even more sad. Why not listen to gospel, you know, that will uplift your spirit, give you faith and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I had to cut out worldly music. I'd be in the car and listening to nothing, but if I want to listen to something, Oh, that comes. oh, so when we get in the car with you, yeah, we don't gotta listen to your playlist like twenty thousand yeah, times. Yeah, no, I used to listen to the same stuff too. Mm. Can I have some? Mm. Mm. You gotta start sharing, Bobby. Anyway, you guys like um, you know, you guys have grown with us. Uh, we've grown with you guys. Um, let us know, like, this type of stuff you guys want to see. Um, you know, we're just having fun with our content and stuff like that. And, you know, um, yeah, so let us know. And there's no elf in this video. Have you seen? I've been hiding the elf. There's one. I mean, someone has found it. I just got to find the winner because someone's been sending me screenshots. But I've only hit it. I've hit it three times. Mm. The first time, no one found it. I took the elf to the store. Mm. 
then I put it in the in the I fruit. Saw a lot of apples. Yeah, but I had I moved the camera real fast. I made sure I'm really I try to be swift and like real mm -hmm. secret. I don't want everybody to find the help because then you know what's the fun in the game. So um, I might do it like hide it like five times in one video. But um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and announce a winner for the second and third video. I didn't, well I did, I paid someone already. I did have a winner, but for some reason, there was actually a few, it was hidden a few times in another video. It wasn't even hidden, it was like sitting on the table. Oops, I just wanted everybody look. Look. Lolly, I'm right here, I have it right here. Anyway, you guys, guys, no gang or no gang. Love you guys.